delivery and uh, which I'm very happy about. I didn't think I was going to get it till next week. But uh, here it is. So um, I, I did open it myself because it's an electronic device and I wouldn't want to open it up and find oh, something missing or you know something damaged. But uh, hey, it's here at last. And <laughs> I must say I'm very, very happy. Um, well, first of all, we've got a couple of... Uh, now this is... Uh, this clips in the side of the uh, electronic control to hold it into a panel. Okay? That's a pretty normal sort of affair. And this is a little metal hook that you can, you know, screw to your machine or the, the, you know, the box that you have your panel on or whatever to hook this. This is the six axes constructor, all wired up, ready to go. Okay. Six axes controller. This is a five axes unit. And uh, uh, you know, it it feels it feels the business. Actually, very pleased with that. So and it's a, you know a long, quite a long cord, you know. So very happy about that. Very good uh, good cable as well. Very happy. And of course, the main item is very, very well packaged as well. I actually haven't had it out of its plastic yet. Oh, let me get it in. Come on. It's Christmas Day. Okay, so there it is. Uh, I'm gonna say I haven't actually had it in a plastic container yet. Look at that. That is a beautiful unit. SMC 5-5-N-N <laughs> uh, Look, I, I just like to call it SMC 5N But there it is And it's quite a big unit, isn't it? It's not it's not a small uh, device, you know, this is, uh, you know a full color seven inch screen which is big enough for me to see as well um, but um, there is on the back side um, now I don't know whether this will hook up to a monitor or not um, I'll have to um, have a look at that but this isn't really complicated at all. This is no more complicated than a Mac 3 or a Mac 4 board. You know, breakout board or smooth stepper. Same thing. It's set up exactly the same way. This is the XYZ, uh, you know, sort of A, B and C uh, drive outlets. It's just, um, you know, normal, normal thing. Uh, 12 volt supply in, uh, ground. So positive, positive, negative. Uh, secondary ground. In other words, this will supply ground to all the drivers, and it was also supply five volts. Okay, so you don't have to have a se separate five volt, volt supply like you normally would do. This supplies it, um, and uh, you know, sort of pull direction on all axes. If you don't understand what that means at the moment, you will, by the uh, end of this series, uh, understand what pull and direction actually means. Um, the, 
this plug here, okay, with a million pins in, uh, this is the plug that accepts the um, manual pulse generator, or the MPG, uh, the hand control. Okay, that's where that plugs in there. Um, so you've got outputs. This one here is the outputs. Okay, um, these are in. Okay, so what this means is this. You can if if you write it in the G code. Okay, and you can actually write G code on this using the front panel. Um, you can, you know, turn things on like uh, your flood coolant or your, your 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 mist spray. This will actually turn it on for you automatically. You know, if you have it set up that way. And these, when it says inputs and outputs, that's what it means. Uh, actually, inputs, uh, which is this one here, is things like limit switches and uh, your um, probe. Your, your Z height probe, they all get hooked up in here individually. Um, and you know, it may look complicated, but it really isn't. It's um, fairly simple if you do things methodically. And the front panel, now, you know, this is it's a computer. This takes part of if he was using. Um, if you're used to using uh, a you know Mac 3 system, where, where, you know, or a Mac 4, where you have a, a Windows-based unit and um, and a breakout board in your machine, which you know these days you know uh, 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 if you're talking about Mac 4 or Mac 3 for that matter, you know it's like two hundred dollars to buy the license. And get the download for Mac 3 or Mac 4, and then uh, these days you can only use it on that one computer. And f further to that, then you've got to buy the breakout board, which cost can cost three to four hundred dollars, depending on what type you buy. If you buy a good one, it's going to cost you about four hundred dollars. So to set Mac 4 up these days. You know, it, it's okay if, if you've got a, a computer handy that you're not using because you shouldn't use it for anything else other than be connected to your machine and not connected to the internet. Um, you know, it's going to cost you six, seven, eight hundred dollars, US that is, to get set up for Mac 4. Well, this does it all. This has the computer built into it. It has the program, which is near identical to Mac 4, built into it. It has the smooth stepper board, which is what all this is, right? The interface that connects to the drivers and all the other bits and pieces, you know, on your, uh, you know, VFD, it's all operator VFD if you've got one running. Um, this does it all. This is for a professional machine of types. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm sort of talking from the specifications that I have seen online. And uh, you know, looking at the makeup of it, and I haven't seen any bad reports about it. And I've been using an offline controller, much simpler than this one, for over three years now, and I've never had a. It's worked perfectly. It's done everything that I wanted it to do. Um, so I thought, well, you know, let's. Uh, Let's go the next stage. You know, I don't want to pay three or four thousand dollars for a dedicated uh, system. You know, uh, like a Hass would use or something like that. Let's go into the extreme a bit. But I, I, you know, I sort of I've looked around over the last two years. 
and you know there's there's this is the best one I've found and look I'm very happy with it I haven't switched it on yet but I'm very happy with the specifications and what I, I know it will do um, of course the performance of it um, in the specifications of the performance of this will will drive uh, you know 3d uh, machining because a lot of the others even the professional machines aren't powerful enough to do it, it they, the memory just won't handle uh, you know three three D codes which is very very surprising there's a couple of people that have bought machines you know, I, you know I'm not going to mention exactly who they are but one Australian in particular in Melbourne um, he bought a machine got in with a company in China bought a machine um, and you know all intensive purposes it was uh, it looked a really really good buy a good machine it was still uh, you know 20, 26 27 thousand dollars worth with an automatic tool changer and um, all this sort of thing and it would do normal everyday machining but making parts but it just would not do three 3d machining you know like you see I do and I can tell you he was not happy at all because he purposely asked the manufacturer uh, if the machine was capable of doing what he wanted and he was told it would and of course it just wasn't capable at all and uh, he's now got a new machine <laughs> from someone else so um, anyway um, I can now uh, get started again to uh, make things for this. Um, I've actually I haven't done much for the last week or so because I've had other things to, to, to do and I've been waiting for this actually. So I, I started this morning to uh, film uh, for this coming weekend, it's uh, Thursday here today. And uh, I've started making parts, and they're the actual, they're actually they're the brackets for the stepper motors, you know, to hook up on, on here, on all the axes. And I, I cut this material this morning, and um, I had a message on my phone saying, oh, there was a parcel pickup for me. And so... I thought it was this. <laughs> I was hoping was it was this, and uh, of course it was. So um, I now have to, you know, finish doing what I'm doing now. It's uh, going to be the next two videos of uh, me making, you know, the brackets and fitting this up, uh, fitting the motors on. Uh, there's a number of things I, I've got to do. It might actually be three videos because uh, I've got to do some turn in as well but I got I got to turn some adapters to go in here on the end of the um the seven motors which you know might be interesting and uh so I'll be using the little CNC lathe for that and then I'm going to start wiring you know this up um, I, I'm going to, I plan to make a, a, a bench for this to go on, you know, a real good sturdy bench because I want to use the front, like um, the front of the bench as an extension of the bed so I can attach boards to or planks to or whatever and, you know, do dovetails or, or you know, box joints on. Uh, 
So I've got to make that bench, uh, and then I want to make a some sort of box to put this in. Probably I I might make it out of a, you know an old computer cabinet, uh, but I I might I might make the entire thing, you know. Um, don't know yet. But uh, I gotta make the bench and put this on it and make the box to put this in and then I will assemble everything in that box and I'll show you how to wire it up. Um, if you're methodical about doing the wiring uh, and do you know sort of one section at a time it's um, you know it's no hassle really. Uh, it might look daunting with wires all over the place, but uh, really it's um, it's uh, it's not too bad, not too bad at all. If you want to have a, a preview of it, of doing that sort of thing, I did a wiring video on the, la the CNC lathe that I made, and I also did one for the CNC mill that I converted. So the mill is about four years ago. And of course the, the lathe is last year. So if you just want to have a, a look at uh, those, it'll give you some idea of where we're going with this. Okay. Um, I do notice on this too, that it has a, it has a, a, a PWM, which is pulse width modulator output. So that is normally used with the VFD uh, spindle, uh, but it also has a zero to 10 volt output for uh, a, a spindle. So I think I can use that to run, run this because the, I think the input for that on the controller is uh, zero to 10. So um, that's going to be interesting to find out. So there's the update for what's going to happen, I suppose, in November. <laughs> and uh, I hope well before Christmas, I'm going to have this up and running and cutting some nice pads for Christmas. You know, so 3D stuff, 2D stuff. Who knows? Be a bit carving.